How's it going, everybody? My name is John McLennan, and I'm here with GuitarControl.com, bringing you a lesson on jazz turnarounds. Now, a turnaround is something that you'll typically hear at the end of a standard, which is a, is a jazz song. And um, just like in the blues, which you may know, we have turnarounds like... And what they do is they function as getting you from the end of the form back to the top. So you're going to start back over. And if you're playing a tune and you get lost or something, they're great indicators to, uh, you know, just get helping you get back on track. So this is a new chord progression that you got to practice and you got to get your ear trained and accustomed to hearing it. Um, so let's jump right in here. We're going to start on an E minor 7 chord, which is 7, 9, 7, 8. Just nice voicing here. Then we're going to an A7 sharp 5, which is 5, 5, 6, 6. D minor 7, 5, 7, 5, 6. G7. resolving to our home key, C, which would be 3rd fret, 5th, 4th, 3rd, C major 7 chord. So again, this turnaround is in the key of C, and we start up on the 3, 6, 2, 5. Those are the, uh, you know, the, the Roman numerals for the chords. So. What you'll want to do is just take this through every key. So once you get it here, realize that the beauty of these chords is that they're closed voicings, meaning that they don't have any open strings. So I can uh, take that E minor 7 and move up one fret. And now I have F minor 7, B flat 7 sharp 5, E flat minor 7, A flat 7, D flat major 7. So the same exact voicings for C just shifted one fret. One of the beautiful things of guitar playing is you can just move a chord shape one fret, so slide it. Anyway, so once again back in our home key, here it is. D minor 7, A7 sharp 5, D minor 7, G7, back on C major 7. So uh, if you didn't get those chord shapes, be sure to click the link below for the tab, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.